Hey guys, Josh Gadamu here with another Iron Man toy review, and today I'm reviewing the Armor Core Remote Control Tank. Special thanks to S. Guile Amazon Store for sponsoring this toy review, and because they're sponsoring this toy review, there is also a promotional code down below in the more info area beneath this video. There's actually two of them for two different colors of this tank, so if you like this toy review, click on those promotion codes, save some money, get yourself one of these tanks comes in two different colors in their Amazon store. So this is a German Tiger tank. It's 172 scale. I got some little 172 scale soldiers here. I got them from uh, my tank in a tin set that I reviewed here recently. And they go quite well together. The tank in the tin was just a motorized tank. But this tank is actually remote control. And you can see it's, it's really small. It's about the size of the palm of my hand. I got a little tank commander guy right up here. Let's see how close we can get a look at him. You can see he's very nicely in scale with the 172 scale army men. Lots and lots of detail. There's texture on this tank. It's very, very cool. One of the upsides about this tank is that you don't have to lose the charger because the controller is what charges it. This takes two AA batteries. You can just take your tank Flip it upside down, pop it in, and that light goes off, the tank is charged. Also, something very good to know, when you buy this tank, it comes pre-charged. So you can just take it out, pop some double A's into that controller, and you are ready to go. I was so happy to find that out. This comes in a pretty cool package. It's actually kind of like a display case. You'll need a screwdriver to get it out. And so you can see kind of a desert terrain underneath and it's reflective really cool underneath here is a hole where the controller the instructions and the antenna goes so that little area right there that's where the antenna goes it unscrews off of the controller that way you don't have to worry about breaking it it also comes with this little grate that fits over it so hang on to your packaging as uh, it's a good way to keep your tank safe very very nice so enough of the charging I mean let's let's get to the review so this just stores in here Bing. it's very nice very easy I really like not having to worry about losing the controllers we have a nice long antenna as you can see now a few things about the controls just before we start up the tank the fun part this makes the tank go from fast to super fast. It's pretty cool. It, it might be why you think like slow and fast, but it's fast and, and faster, really. Um, these slow down how fast the tank turns. These make it turn. This turns the turret forwards, backwards, and firing mechanism or button. This is a little switch underneath. Tank makes a nice startup noise, a little light. Here on the front, which is kind of fun when you're driving in semi-darkness. There's a nice little antenna here on the back. You want that to stay sideways, otherwise your turret's going to get hung up on it. Originally I was like, oh, antenna, it should go up. No, no, you want it sideways. It really is a nice, flexible antenna. You shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Now, when this thing runs has this you know noise like the treads are going and it's really fun. You can see this thing moves very fast. Kind of demolishing these iron men. Just like any tank should. You should be able to drive over soldiers. You should be able to shoot at them too. Oh no, they're behind us. So turret, if you tap it once, it'll turn in one direction. So you can hold it down and it'll spin around. You push it again and it'll go the opposite way. That way if you really need to like coordinate it so that your dog or your cat or your kid sister is in the firing range, you can do that. It's really, really nice. Tank can do spins, which is pretty fun, you know. 
And this thing is just, it's really fast. See that? It has a range of 20 feet or more in my tests. I was in a brick building, so I think it was confusing it just a little bit. So you tap this button up on top, and that actually makes the tank go faster, which is really, really nice. It's, it's kind of like race car meets tank. It would be really fun to have two of these and just be racing each other across different types of terrain and things like that. And this thing goes well, too. Like, I was testing it out on different types of carpets and things like that, and it did perfectly fine. And so thick carpet does it. Thin carpet, of course. I even tested it out on the snow. Not for very long, because, you know, it's snow. It's like 7 degrees outside here in North Idaho. But uh, it, it went on the snow until it hit a curve, a downhill curve, and just kind of slid a little bit. So here's just a random shirt. I'll show you how well this thing can do the terrain. Oops. Looks like our tank turned over. For the most part, this thing can do a lot of terrain. The turning on different terrain, that part can get kind of difficult. But going on it, that's not too hard. As long as it's got enough of a, an angle, it can get up it. Only thing I would say that you need to be watching for is to make sure that uh, your tank doesn't get full of hair and things like that. You can see just, you know, lint and whatnot. So occasionally maintain it by pulling that stuff out of the treads. Other than that, this thing's absolutely fantastic. It's just great. Really a wonderful toy, and I highly recommend it. So make sure to check out the Eskyle Amazon store. There's the links down below in the more info area. There's a link for their store, so you can check out the other toys that are there. And uh, there's two promotion codes for this tank. They have two different colors. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new review nearly every other day.